If we have a non-Muslim of the Sisters Mike at the rear, just mention and you can go ahead with the question. Good evening. Uh, I'm Sarita Mary. Uh, I work in private company as administration manager. And uh, I wish to take up Islam. And it's only because of two men in my life. That is, uh, I wish to marry a Muslim man and uh, I see him every day, uh, the way he talks to people and his simplicity and uh, he's very religious. The second person will be Mr. Zakir. <laughs> that is because I'm watching his speech and it is very informative to know about all the religion. Before I could take up Islam, I have one query to clarify by your end. That is, how is Mother Mary, that is Mary, Mother of Jesus, is described in Quran. Mashallah, sister is impressed with Islam by seeing a person who's religious and seeing my tapes. The only query is that how is Mother Mary described in Islam and what is the status? If you compare what is mentioned about Mother Mary, may Allah be pleased with her in the Quran as well as the Bible, in the Quran there is a full chapter a full surah called as Maryam on the name of the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Maryam. If you read all the books in the Bible, whether the Old Testament or New Testament, whether the 66 books of the Protestants or 73 books of the Catholics, there is not a single book which is named after Mary. But there is a full chapter in the Quran called as Maryam. May Allah be pleased with her. And if you refer and analyze the story of the birth of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, mentioned in the Bible and mentioned in the Quran, both are different. Overall, they are the same, but minute points if you note. For example, if you read the Bible, it says that when Archangel Gabriel comes and asks Mother Mary that you shall have a son, so she replies, how shall I have a son? where I know it's not a man. Know it's not a man means sexually. Same thing in the Quran. If you read in the Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 42, 247, where Mother Mary, she says that how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? So Archangel Gabriel replies, Kun fayakun. When Allah decrees the matter and says to it be, and it is. So in the Quran it says when Mother Mary questions that how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? That means no man has touched her sexually. So Archangel Gabriel replies when Allah decrees the matter and says to it be and it is. In the Bible Archangel Gabriel replies that the Holy Spirit will come unto thee. So when a person has to think that what will the Holy Spirit come unto Mary and do what? So it lets your mind wander. It lets your mind wonder what will the Holy Spirit come unto Mother Mary and do. The meaning is the same. It means that without any male intervention, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born. But the way the Quran describes is more sublime, is more divine, and is much more palatable as compared to the Bible. So if you read in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 42, Allah says that the angels came and told that Allah has chosen thee to Mother Mary and chosen thee above the women of all nations. So the honor given to Maryam alayhi salam in the Quran is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that she is the chosen woman above the women of all nations. Imagine the Quran is being revealed in Arabic to the Arabs. And at that time, the Arabs and Jews did not get along well. The Quran says a Jewish woman, 
the mother of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Mother Mary, has been honored as the woman chosen above all the other women. Imagine Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving the message to the Arabs and is actually antagonizing them that the Jewish woman is chosen above the Arab woman. He did not say that his wife Khatija, may Allah be pleased with her, was the chosen woman or his daughter Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, the chosen woman. He could not because Allah said that the revelation from Allah, he has to repeat it. He says in the Quran that Mother Mary is the chosen woman above the women of all nations. So the respect given in the Quran to Mother Mary is far superior even than the Bible. Hope that answers the question, sister.